All right, hey everybody, what's up? My name is Hector, and uh, I just developed a small app for TG Station servers to make Telescience a lot easier, and I want to demonstrate it for you. So we're here in Telescience, and actually, let me go download the app first. So the app is going to be under GitHub. I'll link it probably. Uh, let's go download it as a zip to the desktop. Let me show my desktop icons real quick. This comes in that folder. I get the readme. And that. I just need that. Source code is also on Git on a different branch. It's on the source branch, I think. Uh, anyway, so let's open that up. So this is the interface. I will probably update it later. Uh, but basically, what you do is to get the X and Y's, you take a GPS, right, like test or something, and uh, you put it on the pad, set all the uh, default settings and power to 20, and you just send it and see where that goes. Bearing 0, elevation 45, and power to 20, and send. That's why I should have ran. There we go. That was weird. Uh, so it did send it. And I can go over here. I can get my telepad location, which is going to be your source. It's going to be 185. 97. I can lock that so I can not modify it. Uh, what else? Alright, so then I get the test, which is an R&D, 186 at 126, just on default settings. I hit calibrate, and it gives me the power and the bearing offsets. So once I did that, I can bring, go ahead and bring that GPS back. And let's say I want to get a location. Now let's make this interesting. I'll spawn in some uh, blue space crystals. Hmm. Blue. Blue space crystals. I just want to queue them in. in cool so we got all the levels uh, now we can pretty much reach the whole station to do that I sometimes just go on the I have a compiler because I've private server so I can just go on the beyond environment and open that up and while that opens I'll just find a nice place to test this and someone far you know what, let's try to steal I don't remember I could but let's try to steal a gun yeah let's steal a gun Here, open up the map, wait for the map to load. And again, with this program, I'm going to probably release later versions of it, which will probably include like TG, other TG codes, and other base station codes. Because as of now, it does not work with base station because they use different codes for some reason. Just slightly modified. Um. Wait for this to load. Yep. All right. So let's get a target, which is this gun right here, and that coordinates is 116, 180. So we can go ahead back to our program, type in 116, 
what did I say, 160, 180? Yeah, 160, 180. Then we can type the power. I'm going to start it at 20. Uh, direction is going to be northwest. And that's not enough power because I get not a number. So we raise the power until we actually get a good value. Should be around 50 though. Can I do 30? 40? Yeah, I can do 40. Okay, so with 40, it's going to be elevation of 26. So from there, I can just set the bearing to 318.27, elevation to 26, part of 40. And I should, in theory, just be able to receive. Nope. Okay, well, sometimes this happens, and it's weird, and I don't know why. But let me show you that it actually works. Uh, let's actually just receive a GPS. It's right outside. Let's get those coordinates. 180, 103. And it should be power of... I'll be able to do... Nah, 20. It is northwest as well. So those coordinates are going to be 318.2, again, and 0.8, or sorry, just 8, the elevation with the power 20. See, I did get that on my first try. So I kind of want to know where that GPS went, though. Hmm, let's see. Let's just get back those coordinates. I believe 116, 180. Uh, power 40? Yeah. 26. 13.27. Let's send the. One seventy one one four. Why is it in the server room? Where is that one seventy one one four? It's not there, is it? Why is it there? Did I see the power right? Oh no, I didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Alright, power 40 send. Alright, so it's 115179. So it's just one block off of that. I think there are some places that don't let you actually get to them, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to try to get something across the station let's pick what can we do should I steal this from the uh, head of personnel just his uh, what is that I think it's destination tower so it's 103 121 and that should be northwest. And I can't do it with the power 40. So it's going to be 284.32 with an elevation of 19. And let's just try to receive. Nope. So it only works certainly. But the thing is, I have no idea. Uh, let's try. Let's try to receive this one more time. Let's put it up here. Let's 
Uh, let's do something interesting before that. Uh, let's go to over here. Let's say you're the scientist and want to steal the uh, the PAI for some reason. So it's one eighty six one one three. One eight six one one three with a power of twenty. That is gonna be northeast. So my bearing's gonna be one point five eight. And my elevation is going to be seventeen. And hopefully this doesn't fail this time. I can should be able to just receive it. Yep, there it is. <laughs> the PAI device. Now let's try to receive that GPS that we lost up there. It's 190, 136. And that's just northeast, I believe. Yeah, 136. And we need a little bit more power. 25? Yeah, 25 should do. Bearing of 5.31. Elevation 27. Receive. <laughs> the demo fail in this. Let's look at where that went though. I'm not gonna bother labeling it. So it's just one off. This is a bug, I think. I don't know if it's with the code or with what, because you did see me just get the uh, personal AI. For some reason, sometimes I just can't get everything else. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to recalibrate it, for example, if your crystal, you use it so much that your crystals are not. You should be able to let's label this Calib. Cali. Should be able to just uh, hit recalibrate on this. Just remember to set the bearing to zero again. Elevation of 45. Power to 20. And go ahead and send that. And that is 181. So we gotta re unlock these and reset the coordinates. It's going to be 181, and the other GPS is going to be 126. And lock those again, calibrate those. Now the bearing offset is negative 8, so we're going to have to adjust for that. And uh, basically, you can just really hit just calculate again, and slightest of ease, you get the coordinates you need again. That's pretty much how it works. That's, that's my program. And hopefully later I can get actual code that's not that crappy that actually calculates everything else, but for now this is what I got, so if you guys want to download and try it out, go for you. Thanks.